Good evening everyone, welcome back to Aussie Starcraft. Now, for those of you that were that have uh, been on the channel today, you'll see I uh, did grab all my Whispers cards this morning, had been uh, waiting up for the expansion to drop, and pretty excited with what we got. We managed to either get or craft all of the old, old gods, so we'll be having just a little bit of fun with those. Now, uh, I've built a deck, it is a priest deck, big surprise. I know Shaman is going to be stupidly powerful in this expansion, they've received just mm, such good cards, but I wanted to muck around with a Priest deck, because, you know, I like Priests, I'm a little bit prone to playing them. So we have a new Priest deck, we're going to see how it goes, it is totally random, I, I'm not going to pretend for, for even a minute that it is a great deck, but let's see how we go. I do need to reinstall Deck Tracker as well, I formatted my computer recently and haven't quite got around to putting everything back. But I am running a priest deck. I've called it Calling Kthun because I thought it would be fun to try out Kthun. We will try the others in due course as well as just build a really nasty constructed shaman. But I'm just curious to see how some Anduin of these Kthun effects work. Gerash. Victory on death. The light shall Almost bring victory. every card in the deck, guys, is a new card, bar a couple of old faithfuls like in two. So it, it'll be interesting to see what we get. There are three drop minions and stuff in the deck. I just didn't seem to be seeing very many of them. Alright, well. <coughs> There's our Kthun. Well, let's just test this. You can see Kthun 6-6. Six, six. We drop oh the Beckoner of Evil. Kithun becomes a So, okay. Of course, that was probably a waste of a coin. And we probably need slightly cheaper minions here. Yeah. That's, that's no big surprise there, guys. But uh, we've got the Twin Emperor as well, so we'll see how that goes. That would have been a better two drop to get past her. Kithun has already. Uh, Oh, okay, so that gave our Kthun taunt. So that's, that's not bad. Doesn't quite mention the taunt yet. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, it just doesn't show it on the back. Not a problem. I guess they can only show the temporary changes on the card. Ruby the face! Job's done. We have power word tentacles, which is kind of funny. I, I like it. Which, it's interesting because Velon's chosen disappeared. Powered tentacles are more expensive, and where Velon's is plus two, plus four, plus one, plus two, plus six, I'm, like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not married to the tentacles, but I, I think it would be funny. Well um, we won't the I'm a bit, um, concerned about what battle cry effects we're gonna get off that brand. He is gonna get something like I bleed nice. for Cthulhu! Whenever this minion takes damage, give you Cthulhu. Okay, well... I feel like this is an appropriate response. Cthulhu! So you can trade in this if he wants. It's interesting that it does show you, your opponent how strong your Kithun is. I wonder if the Twin Emperor will trigger once. Uh, if that, if the Twin Emperor will trigger immediately. I think we will wholly know for now. And I, I'm just curious whether Twin Emperor will trigger as he enters play with Cthulhu in hand with 10, or whether we will have to do something differently, whether Cthulhu will have to physically be in play. But, this is why we call it Tester. That's cool. So we have two, four, six minions for seven. That's, that's uh, Nothing wrong with that. I have no time for games. Oh, Sylvan, let's go play somewhere else. So we will lose one of those if we trigger the little Sylvan us. 
could kill Sylvanas, but then he gets one of my 4-6 guys, and I'm a little hesitant to do I that. Consider. I can summon 1-1 one, one Prophets, but I, I think it would be more interesting to get the Confessor effect later on. Uh, it's not really an ideal. There will be so much pain. I'm going to try and make it hard for Sylvanas to actually... Who knows what secrets with us? Kill stuff. If he can't trade the Sylvanas with me this turn, it will be ideal. Because then we'll just spam so many minions that we'll hopefully give him a crap on. We can hope. Man can hope. Oh. I had plans for that, Bran. I hear. The Super Cthun. Back to work. That's an interesting choice because he ends up with the full one minute. I'm curious to drop a curious to drop a forbidden shaping. That's one of the new cards. Spend all your mana, summon a random minion that costs that much. We'll see what he does. Ooh, okay, so that's upgraded definitely. Put all dragons from the end of the battle for well, Obviously he doesn't have any other dragons. But, um, shall we watch everything die? Let's just get rid of that. For some of the super Was that a death rattle effect? Ah. Ah, I see. That was a little short sighted. <laughs> oh, it rises! Are you my master? Mm, that is a nice way to get the Deathwing on the field. Alright, Cthon. Will he drop his this turn? He has a much smaller Cthon. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. <laughs> His way through life. My dream. I hope it fire. Your nightmare begins. That was kind of fun. This a lot way. Of damage. And he's 14, 14. I'm sure he'll probably have a big game hunter or something. I don't think big game hunter was removed with the standard patch. My dream. Well, that's a cute little bit of thought. Your nightmare. So, how to not die. <sighs> That's pretty much relying on a legendary. We may it's just time die. to consider Unless we get some legendary taunt or a Malkanus. I think we're dead. Um, that's cute. We'll just drop that. Maybe we'll get it to the Nope. Astonishing. Okay, well we die. Well, well played. played. But that was quite I dream and Next the time we'll be a little bit more careful before we get to death. <laughs> but all in all it was fun to see Cthulhu's adventure. And uh, we'll try and have a game uh, in just a bit. So we managed 14-14, fourteen, fourteen. that's our record so far. We still have a couple of cards that we could pull out of the deck that aren't essential things like the Pale Chris and a few other bits and pieces that aren't really essential to the theme. Versus we'll we'll see how they Victory wobble the off and what sort of damage victory. they do. I'm curious about the Herald. I haven't 
haven't really tried the Herald. The uh, Twin Emperor, that was a pretty solid 7 drop when we played it. Obviously there's a problem with the cost of minions in the deck. They're just too expensive. Because we've had a consistently expensive opening hand. I have to sub a couple of these out. Things like the Doom Caller to get your, your Cthun back is just delicious. Um, I think we'll coin in the. Don't you hear its call? Listen! Your neck betrays you. Because we have one, two, takes him the Cthun to eight. And then the disciple gets it to ten, which means when we get to seven mana, we have the twin emperor ready to play. Right, a rusty hook. To nine, I believe. Seven, nine. So Twilight Elder will take us to ten. And I know, probably just Rusty Hook this guy. This guy would have been great. Uh, I guess it's really still good enough value. Do you hear its call? Listen closely. He's a little bit surprised. Like they're alright, they're a 4 3. For 4, I mean, they're good value. But uh, you never used to see them in a warrior deck. Things are shifting. I guess they, they took away uh, the patron warrior a few months ago. And most warrior decks that aren't just straight control warriors still trying to find their feet. I have an axe to grind. I will give him plus three attack as soon as I do that. Um, it's alright, we can drop that next it's time. Coming. Done. Chances are he'll hit for my hero if he does. <laughs> we just dropped the Dark Mender. That is a, that's, the Dark Mender is going to be surprisingly good I think. I don't, I don't think I quite uh, gave it gave it the credit it was due when we built the deck. I believe I only put one in. The fact that the Cthun doesn't have to be in play makes it a much better card. Blood and plunder. It's going to make for a messy turn or two. I wish I could double the effect, but that's just getting greedy. Right, if I drop the cultist, what's he got? Four, nine, twelve. He's got seventeen damage. So he has I I feast upon. Just got to do it. It's pretty brutal. It's surprising that. I mean, we've played two games so far, and they've both been warrior games, so we, we know that the fast druid was nerfed with last week's nerfs. Things like the treants losing charge just, just killed the deck, or killed a lot of its viability. survive on one is a bit, a bit of a sad panda. Oh, I thought we would draw in 
into the cathedral quite quickly if we can see. So what's working for us? The little creeper working alright. Holy Nova's doing okay. We don't have quite the clear that we want to. We do have a new clear that's a four mana drop, but I don't to be honest, I don't I don't see it being destroy all minions with two lesser take. I just don't see it being quite what we what we want it to be. I don't know that the Herald justifies his existence yet, so let's pull him out. Oh, my mouse is just failing. Let's pull the Herald out, put a second Dark Mender in. We have two Doom Callers to return and the Power Trust will keep at the moment. We're just suffering on, on cheap minions. Just the car I think is, is probably um, overkill. It's, a, it's not it's not a, it's not, it's not quite the late game that we need. Like, we don't need that, but it's not a control priest. We do need more early game. Um, which of these minions are we overkill on? The 6 for 7, 6 is nice, but both games we've played, we've wanted a bit more taunt or more, more early game presence so they don't get quite the oomph that they've they've had thus far. I think we can do it. But let's try the holy champions out. Look, and if they don't give us the mileage we want, we can always get the Darkshas. They're slightly more expensive, but they give us some more health back, so they will prolong the game. Just that little bit. Let's throw one. Uh, let's, let's, let's give that a whirl. Game 3, so we've triggered one Cthulhu, it was 14-14, that was fun, let's see if we can beat it, or let's see if we can get a second Cthulhu, or a brand on a Cthulhu, uh, all of those things would be fun. Okay. So we're going to be against a hunter, let's go if it's a new hunter, again. it's going to be a beast based victory. hunter. We'll see. We'll see what shenanigans he has in mind. Mulligan two. Oh. I'd say the deck needs more two drops and things, but job done. Yeah, this it doesn't have that fewer one and two drops. It's a slower there, deck. Fight, See the new knife juggler guys, it's 2-2 two, two instead of 3-2. Gonna be disappointed Cthulhu. about that at the moment. Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Yeah. Eight, eight. Is close. We get to 9-9 nine, nine off what we've got in hand. Well, we can I mean the Doom Caller goes above that, but I I'm seriously thinking of the Doom Caller for regen potential, not uh, uh, like for super late game, not not for a, a means of buffing Cthulhu early on. Carthorn. 
How many things are lost? Holy champion. In. Job's done. A holy champion. I'm curious to see the hooded acolyte. We're gonna start healing and buffing our kill. And he's got a 3 6 isn't a shabby stat line for a 4 drop minion. To my side. Did he really get draw the ball? Fight, This guy is, seems to be allergic to actually Does this hurt? going face. Um, if we drop that, we drop to one, heal the holy nova to three, we die to the sword. Um, Does this hurt? We do want our character to heal though, so that we get insanely good damage. Now we have a second five. And it's very difficult. A freezing trap would undo us. Good odds on a freezing trap. One of those two being a freezing trap. And look, we don't actually do have to attack to win this. Like, I, I could attack and trigger the freezing trap, but. Why bother? We're just buffed. We will eventually have to trade into him, but. If we can suck out a kill card, I'm happy with that. We'll drop some little fodder minions. He has almost zero chance of aggroing a scan with the all the aggro. This, this is an old school beast. Uh, not old school beast. There's an old school face on the guys. It, it just doesn't have the oomph to kill us. Um, we, we can heal 10 damage almost immediately. We, we can heal five now. Oh, not even going to not even to heal guys. I don't think he can do the damage. I'd rather trade with the Darkshire Alchemist. Because if it bounces back to my hand, great, I'll play it again. And we get an extra heal. So I, some people would argue that you can just push into the aggro, but we just don't need to, guys. There's, there's no reason at all to trigger it. Alright, that was to unleash the hounds. Great. Bring him for everything he's got. He's down to two cards in the Let's try this recipe. in. Oh no, back to our hand. Oh, what a, what a, what a, what a disappointment. Outsider! Outsider! Uh, let's try it again. His eagle horn does go up quite high. Let's drop this. I feast upon this. Disappointment. Caress your fear. Hope is an it's massive. We can drop it in two turns to just wreck his world. But I'm having a bit of fun with this. I don't. He's dropped both his Unleashed their hands and one of his abusive guys. I don't actually think there's any way for him to win this game. Just putting it out there. I think just the raw heal that we have is too substantial. Side of my minion, hooded acolyte would have been fine. We'll have to drop the Cthun next. Like we could stall for the brand, but if he doesn't already know he's dead, he might just concede, and then all the fun would be spoiled.
this. We don't have to drop it before the brain. Alright, Akathon is 19. Uh, he dies off Akathon. Particularly dies off Tukathon. Let's see what he does. Hopefully he won't concede. It's always fun when you set something like this up. Really disappointing when they just concede straight off the bat. The fun thing is that's probably a freezing trap. Or one of the burning ones, but Alright folks. This is the money one. This is what we wanted to see. This is going to be two lots of twenty damage. Well played. My dream. Ah. That's literally forty damage. That's a nice <laughs> so yay, we won one. So plus two, one one. Like I said, not to say the deck's awesome. It, there's lots of playtesting to be done yet, but that was pretty cool. Alright guys, gonna, gonna pause it there for uh, playing with Cthun. We, we will come back to him, and we will have some other shenanigans in the coming days. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. A little bit of taste of Cthun. We will be trying the other old gods, and we will be trying the uh, really good shaman. The, uh, so oh, out of the new cards, what did we get to see? I think in the priest deck we saw just about everything we put in. I did have a forbidden shaping in hand. I did want to try that with 9 or 10 mana because as you get to those higher amounts you can pretty much pick and choose what, what you're going to craft with it. There's a lot less 10 drops so I guess there's a few new ones in this expansion. But we saw just about everything else. The Twin Emperor, really nice in the deck. Confessors is always a good card late game, but arguably it's getting a little bit watered down with the amount of new legendaries, and it just is less essential than it once was. So Very cool though. I, I did have a bit of fun with the deck, and we'll mix and match a little bit and play some more later. Hope you guys enjoyed the cast, guys. This is Aussie Starcraft here. Um, if you did enjoy the cast, leave us a comment down below, or like or subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you in the next cast. Thanks, guys.